Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, evening. Let's go with 4.12 p.m. Anyway, today I'm having a Guinness. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like whatever comes next, we've started. We've left the bad stuff behind and we're moving forward. Don't you feel that way? I feel like we're all going to be going back to work. Kids are going to be going back to school. I don't know. Maybe it's just spring here in Maryland, but I feel, I feel that um, we're over the hump. So today, to celebrate being over the hump, I'm going to do a request that I've had four months. I'm sure I've had almost a thousand requests for j Uh Joe Russo's Almost Dead, I know is not a cover band. I know that. Many people say... They do it better than Dead and & Company, and even a lot of errors of the dead while Jerry was alive. Doesn't seem possible, but we're going to give it a listen. I have not listened to one of their tunes. I mean, I know who they are. I've, like, gone through Facebook Live and, like, seen them, you know, like, on, like, whatever night they do their thing and see that it's up and listen to a couple seconds, but I've never, like, dug in. Now, this one comes from Ben Sleeper. Ben is a subscriber over at GuitarGate.com. For those of you that don't know, I support this channel, not through a Patreon or anything else like that, um, just from you students over at GuitarGate.com. So you get all my courses, you get all my lessons, and check it out, I'll show you. As a subscriber, you get access to this page where you can upload videos and get requests. So this one is... Black Throated Wind et al. Touch of Grey, Brooklyn Bowl, 316, 2017. 19 minutes and 42 seconds. That's a lot. But for you, sir, here we go. Thank you very much for your support. I sincerely appreciate it. Let's do it. Let's jump right in. So teal with in ears and a mohawk. So I'm hearing an E mixolydian vibe. It's obviously E, but I'm hearing. D's in there. Like right there. Yeah. Okay, so it's the Lord's Song Royal. So this is going one flat seven to D. Four. You hear everybody yelling, no, no. Like he loved it. I bet that was just his idea to do that. Flat seven. See, when you're holding your pick, it's hard to do flat seven to a four, right? So it's E, D, and A. How much you love?
thank God for video. Makes it so easy. So I'm here in that E, but then it goes down to the D, and then E. Now the bass is still pedaling E throughout this whole thing. So you got this up here, piece of E major, and, and my inversions, my voicings might be wrong, but that looks like what's happening. So you got E major, then E major here, so this is, again, your third and your fifth. This is your root and your third. And then it goes down to make that E7 sound, right? That flat seven. And then it goes to this dyad or triad. E major to D major. It's all given the sound of E mixo. What a great group. What a great sounding band. Like the, ba the band just, it's got that it's got that bounce to it, you know? It's got that warm, cozy feeling. It's breaking me down. Running Two. around here. Blind my lights in the interstate car. Passing me by. Buses and semi. Plunging like stones from the same shot on Mars. What a super sensitive band. I mean, playing slow and softly like that is so hard to do with all these instruments. It's incredibly balanced. What I'm hearing in that part is one, two minor, a D, so flat seven, over to A. Four, and finishing on one E. So it's it almost like it wants to be an A for that middle part, but I mean, it is an A. This is really, it's, it's E mixo. I'm here by the road. Those of you that are new to this channel, I'm literally trying to get the broad strokes right now. If I'm crushing your soul by starting and stopping it, please know I don't mean it. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh -huh. I'm here by the road. <sighs> Alright, so you're moving around, it's not exact, but you're moving around in sixth, if you want to think of it like that, I'm thinking of it like, you know, inversions of the majors and minor chords, I'm not really thinking about it in sixth at all, but it sounds like you got A, right, D, E, so like one, four, five, then it goes E to D like that. Now the bass might be doing B there, so maybe the progression does that B minor thing there. But that 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 dyad movement, it's a it's a diatonic double stop movement up and down. Along with the rush. Then doing it higher, A. So. Right there. You're here in B minor, it sounds like. That's the minor third and root of B minor. So that's B minor first inversion. So 
Sorry, I'm getting too heady. Let it play, Michael. Let it play. There's a C sharp in there. With his words of a life where nothing is new. Alright, that was Niemeyer. Sorry, right, we're all over the place here. We're all over the place. Not not on the game today. Four. Oh, sorry. D flat seven. C sharp. On pouring in with his words of a life where nothing is new. E minor. See, so yeah, what what minor there? Change. Oh, Jesus. From the light. Oh, I'm drowning in you. So you got. Okay, so now. Oh, G, D, and A. Whew, we're moving a lot here. You can tell I don't know this song. Try not to butcher it for you guys. Let's keep going. <laughs> The strikes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I left St. Louis in the city of blues. A great little bass walk up there to the two. In the midst of a storm that I'd rather forget. I love O'Teal. He's great back there on the SG bass, getting those little voice leadings. I tried to pretend that it came to an end. Cause you weren't the woman I once thought I met. You aren't the woman I once thought I met, or once thought I missed. to go get I know a lot of you guys that are watching this are gonna be learning the song and you're or you already know the song and you'll be like dude he's doesn't get something weird's happening in there I'm not following it but this video is so long I'm just gonna muscle through that change please forgive me please forgive me I don't pre-learn clearly
goes over that two. There you go. Love that. That is a man after my own heart. That, that sweep, dude, that was killer. Well, let's walk down. That was slick. It's, it's so, it's so subtle. That, that, it, those little slides in there, that's cool. I don't know about that note, bud. What was that? What was that? Thumb doesn't sound right. There. Is he in a totally different tuning? No. I'm just off my game today. That's all. <laughs> it's all those like fudgings in between notes. It's like if you're not familiar with this stuff, you just... It's it's it it just doesn't come intuitively for me at all. Yes. There's that piece of that B minor you're hearing. Joe, by the way. Um, d d it, you know, you know what's so wild about this? It's so like, okay, we're doing dead tunes, right? Now, given I have not learned this song, clearly. I have not uh, uh, learned Jerry's way he solos on it or John's way he solos on it. But those two were very different and very unnatural sounding to my internal ear. I'm so endlessly amazed of the different interpretations of this music that I hear so many different players uh, take on it. Um, they all have those little chromatic slides and those Jerry-isms, 
and it's all melodic playing, like hunting for chord tones. But it's like substantially different. It's bizarre, really. It's really not intuitive for me. Like it, I mean, I'm sure I'm crushing you guys out there that have learned this a million times and you're like, wow, this dude just don't have it. This, this, this style of playing does not, does not come naturally for me. By racing around to carry your blues wherever you go, you fill the blues, you're trying to lose. I had to reset the camera so it didn't shut off. Here we go. commitment to I don't want to just say mix so but the third of D everywhere you cross over it's just F sharpened F sharping everywhere like even you know you know One, and this solo is over that part that was introduced in Let's Go With The Chorus, that, that G, D, um, A part.
drummer's great too, man. His drummer's great. <laughs> So that's Touch of Grey, I recognize it. Alright, I'm gonna stop there. Um, so, so key takeaways here. Um, one, one, forgive me guys for, you know, kind of butchering some of those changes and not knowing the song, but I don't know the song. Um, two, two, forget about me, forget about me. Um, two, the 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 band the band is an incredibly good band. I didn't Okay, so when they started, they starting off super slow, super mellow. And then like they take this constant dynamic ride up, you know, up the mountain. And it is it is I can see why people prefer this over like the Dead and Company stuff and a lot of the actual Dead stuff because because the consistency of the timing, the, the, the one drummer, uh, the dynamic control that that gives you, and, and the balance on stage, is a totally different feel. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, the drummer is freaking outstanding, by the way. Um, I didn't see any of those chops coming really from him or the other guitar player. I'm assuming that's Joe. Um, oh, the guy with the, the buttons and the hat and everything that's, um, you know, stage right over there. Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't anticipate any of that riffing, but at the very end, I mean, that was, that was on fire. That was totally on fire. You're hearing O'Teal with the bass runs, you're hearing the keyboards right with him, the horns are there. Um, both guitar players were bitching, but I, I can't, I can't stress this enough from, from someone who's just learning this stuff and, and hearing all this, I feel like every time I hear something, it's it's new when it comes to this type of music. It, those solos in the first part were so different. It's like this. It's like this weird smorgasbord of like you're just kind of like fudging into chord tones, and they both were coming at it from completely different ways. Um, to be honest, I don't totally understand it, you know? Um, very unnatural, very not intuitive for me. I, I can't stress that <laughs> enough. Um, but uh, but Killer, really, really, really a strong band. I'd love to hear them do um, some of the tunes that I know well. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's J-Rad. If they come through Baltimore, I'll be going. 100 percent it's not even it's not even debatable um thank you guys so much for watching thanks for liking and subscribing and and most importantly leaving comments leaving messages with links i do live tracks in the description in the comments right so let's let's go down this together um and also if you haven't please consider subscribing at my website just like ben was it ben Ben! It was Ben! It was Ben!
just like Ben does, because it supports the whole channel. It allows me to do all of this for free. I'd love to be your online teacher. You get all my courses, lessons, and everything for just 10 bucks. That's it. Thanks. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.